The Buffalo Public School District is preparing for what they say will be a tough January. District officials say their ultimate goal is to keep kids in the classroom after the holidays. But as 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us, they didn't rule out remote learning at some point. As of now, today, we expect to return on January 3rd. The message from Buffalo School Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash is it is the goal of the school district to keep students in school after the holiday break, but it is not ruling out remote learning. Cash meeting with reporters after issuing this letter to school families earlier this week, telling students and staffers to bring home electronic devices over the winter holiday break. City school parent Jessica Bauer Walker says it sparked a great deal of concern among parents, fearing students would be heading back into remote learning. When I saw that letter, when that came through, it was almost like a trauma response, like, oh, no, not again. Like, I don't think I can go through this again. But the district says it will be watching closely the winter surge of COVID and the spread of the Omicron variant. The district's medical director says he expects a quick spread in January. My advice is that we are committed to absolutely keeping the schools open. We will continue to watch where everything is as because this is a very highly rapidly changing situation. School leaders insisting their goal is to keep students in the classroom. That is our goal. Our goal, our objective from the board perspective is to keep our schools open, to keep our children in school. Still, the superintendent says he wants all students and staff to take their devices home when they leave for winter break Thursday with plans to return January 3rd. And then I would like to see before we come back on January 3rd, all of our families and staff to be tested. I can't imagine the complexity of requiring everybody to get tested before they come back into schools. You know, 30,000 plus students and then all of the staff. I, I can't imagine the complexity of that. The superintendent says not enough 5 to 12 year olds in the city district have been vaccinated. And while many districts are supporting tests to stay, Dr. Cash says he doesn't have enough information to know how it would work for Buffalo. Superintendent Cash says no decision will be made until next Tuesday when they reevaluate the situation. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.